Hey everybody, uh, did you miss me? It's been a while. Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to do uh, my tag video just yet because since all of you have already, you know, replied to the tag, some of you have taken people that I was going to tag. <laughs> so I need to go back through my list. Um, I know I don't look that great. I didn't really put very much makeup on. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But um, I did want to get on here and kind of give you an update about my surgery. I had my surgery in Houston with Dr. Garth Davis. Um, everything went well. He told my family that, you know, it was a great surgery, went really quickly. Um, I asked him when he came to my room if my liver had shrunk. And he said, yeah, it looked fine. Um, you know, because when you do that liquid diet, you want to know that, you know, it was worth it. <laughs> so, anyway... Um, they were giving me blood thinner in shots in my stomach, and I have huge bruises from it. But I'm pretty sure the blood thinner is what was making me nauseous because um, I ended up staying in the hospital from Wednesday to Saturday, which normally they would have kicked me out on Thursday or Friday. Um, you know, after I'd done the leak test, they'd have been like, all right, you're free to go. But I kept getting sick and couldn't keep fluid down. Um... And I'm pretty sure the reason I was getting nauseated was because um, they were giving me the blood thinner. And I'm not sure what the name of it was, but um, I had terrible gas, which is normal. Um, but that really wasn't that bad. I mean, I did have pain from gas, but I, it wasn't so painful that I was like in excruciating pain or anything like that. Um but dry heaving scared me really bad because I was like, am I going to rip open my new stomach? And my doctor said basically it's your, your muscles on the outside that are, you know, being kind of jarred when you're dry heaving and not really your inside. So that made me feel a lot better. But um, can you see my bruises? I'm trying to turn it towards the camera. Okay. This was from a chick drawing blood because I came in my room to draw blood every night. This is from her drawing blood. And these have healed up quite a bit, just by the way. Uh, this one is from my IV, and it goes from here, clear around to my elbow. Oh, I'm trying to get it in, in frame. Um, can you see that? And that's healed up quite a bit. Um, it is weird because I don't know, you know, are those bruises so bad because of the uh, blood thinner? Or is it because when they did that stuff, they dug in my arm because a couple of them did. And I'm like, especially like this one right here. Oh, wait. That one right there. She like dug the dang needle around in my arm. I wanted to smack her, even though it was a butterfly needle. She's I'm like, hello. <laughs> That's my arm. Um, and then let me see if you can see my other incisions. I do have on a sports bra, but it's not, you know. Okay, so there's one here. One here. Uh, one here, one here, and one here. And then I also have one in my belly button. And he said that the belly button one is where he pulled my stomach out through. So um, I didn't know that because I thought they always did it through the little side one or whatever. But nope, apparently it's through the belly button. Um, and that one was like a little bit sore, more sore than the others, and I guess that's why. Um, I'm trying to think. I am down from 241 to, as of yesterday, 226. So that is 15 pounds for those of you that are trying to add it up, <laughs> um, which is insane. And that was from, I was 241 for my pre-op diet, and I think I might have lost like four pounds. I really didn't lose that much on the pre-op diet because I only did it for a week because my BMI was low. But, um... It's so crazy because after those uh, 15 pounds, I'm out of the morbid obese category of my BMI. I'm now just obese. So that's good. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I um, thank you all so very much for all of your sweet comments. And a special thanks to Antonia because um, that was so, so wonderful. I had access to my email but the hospital had YouTube and Facebook blocked so I had no way to like get in touch with anybody and she had sent out an email about the nonprofit weight loss surgery and left her um, 
telephone number. So I called her and she offered to do that video for me to update you all. And I was so, so thankful. Um, cause I was thinking I want to update people, but I have no way to do it. Why does this hospital have me on lockdown? Um, so I'm super, super thankful to her. I will, um, be posting a few more videos. Uh, my mom is waiting on me right now for us to get out of the house and, um, we've got to run to the store and stuff. My dad's coming in. So, um, I'm going to make this short and sweet, but I did want to let you all know that I really do feel great. Um, I've been doing, um, liquids, but you know, liquids with more substance. Like I had, uh, I don't know if you guys have Bear Creek, but they're in the bags. I had tortilla soup and, um, it really doesn't have very many lumps in it. Uh, you can cook it down to like soup, uh, like a thick, like a creamy soup. Um, that went down great. Uh, I did try grits this morning, and I don't like to make my grits runny, and it hurt a little going down. Um, I won't say, like, painful, but I could just really feel it going down, so I won't be doing that again. <clears throat> and I'll be having lunch here in just a little bit, and for lunch, I will probably just have, like, some baby food. Uh, like, the stage one, I'll probably do, like, pears or something like that, and with that, I can get down about three and a half ounces, and um, I feel really satisfied. So um, today, also, I'm starting all of my vitamins and um, everything, and the Actigal, which is what my doctor gave me to keep me from having gallstones, and he said that I would stay on that for six months. So, um, and I think I take two capsules twice a day. I haven't yet taken one of those, and it looks really big, so it's kind of freaking me out just a smidge. Um, oh, with the leak test, um, that really kind of hurt me because they made me gulp the stuff down and that stuff is really disgusting. It's like, um, Dimetap or something like that. It tastes kind of like that. Um, and I was sipping cause you know, that's what they tell you. They ingrain it in your head, sip, 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 sip after surgery. And that's what I was doing. But they were like, I need you to gulp it. I guess so they could really see it going through my system, but, ugh, it hurt. And I felt so nauseated after that. I was having diarrhea and had, like, nothing in me. It was just bad. But <clears throat> all is well now. I'm home. Um, I can walk around and do things. You know, he said I can walk. I just can't do any kind of abdominal exercises or anything like that. I can just do, like, walking and stuff right now for the next three weeks. Um, and I go back and see him on May the 17th. So really other than that, um, everything's good. Um, I'm going to weigh in weekly for you all so that you can kind of see and also let you know like what I've been eating because I'm going to be on a puree diet now. I, hospital was clear liquids, then I did, uh, full liquids, and now I'm on a puree diet, which is where you can, like, cook regular food and then add, like, broth or skim milk to it and blend it up. I don't really know if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to go with stuff that's already, like, pureed. <laughs> um, I mean, I might try that with a couple of things just to see, like, as far as being able to get it down. Um, <clears throat> since mine's, like, a long pouch instead of, like, a, a fat pouch, um, Anyway, so, um, I'm on 851, so I need to hurry this up, but, um, I'm going to keep you guys posted because next week I'll be able to go to soft foods. So next week on Wednesday, I'll be soft foods or Thursday, I guess. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I haven't been able to go on your channels and, you know, send you a little thank you. So please forgive me for that. I've been a little busy. <laughs> um, and uh, know that I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy my videos and that I can uh, help you in any way possible. Email me on YouTube if you need anything. And um, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.